So first up, Uniswap becomes the first DEX to beat Coinbase Pro and Kraken. And I got to tell you, it doesn't seem like it's uh, way off to me. I think this is due to happen. And if you are a centralized exchange, you have to look around and just go, you know what? Are we becoming obsolete? I don't know. ETH-based heavy mover Uniswap has made history after making an all-time high daily trading volume of $589 million to become the first DEX to surpass Coinbase Pro and Kraken. A comparison of both trading giants shows that Uniswap's trading volume is 18% higher than Coinbase Pro's at $404 million and a whopping 52% higher than Kraken's at $187 million. So it states the exploring DeFi activity that's seen investors jumping headfirst into daily emerging platforms, especially in yield farming, has boosted liquidity services that Uniswap offers best. Uniswap offers traders to swap ERC tokens and others from different blockchains conveniently with 100 available token pairs and the liquidity of a, is uh, 1 billion or so. So when I was reading this, I'm like, well, in case you don't know, uh, Uniswap, you can take a look at it here. This is what the website looks like, but I have read other reports about Uniswap being uh, impersonated and people losing a whole ton of money. So just so you know, in the comments or in the description section of all my videos, there's gonna be an exchange fees and wallet uh, alternatives to Coinbase. And it just goes through everything from Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, Celsius, Voyager, Gemini, Uphold, Abra, SimpleSwap, Uniswap, everything you can think of that I've ever used or I'm currently using. And I break them down by the fees and the APRs and the APYs and everything that you can really wanna know and if it's recommended or not. So instead of Googling Uniswap, uh, just go to this exchange sheet and this is the actual domain. So you can find that link in the description. Looks like this. And for all of these links, you know you're going to the right place. And also, if you want to sign up for anything that, that's here, usually they have an affiliate link that you can get between $10 and $25. You don't have to use my affiliate link, uh, but you can just go right there and uh, go ahead and sign up for it. But if you do use it, it's between $10 and $25. Bucks, so that's up to you. Okay, so Uniswap. So the big thing is, so we're here on the website itself. I'm just going to click on Launch App here or in the middle, doesn't matter. And the whole thing is that you have to connect your MetaMask wallet. And if you have a Brave browser, it's super simple. All you gotta do, and you can't really see it here, but uh, on the top left of every computer that you're using, it's gonna say Brave if you have your Brave browser open. You're gonna click on Brave. You're gonna go into Preferences. Under Preferences, uh, you got Settings, Brave Rewards, History, blah, blah, blah crypto wallets and right here you just you're able to set it up you just click on a button and then off it goes and there's you can deposit your ethereum so like what i just do is i just deposit my ethereum to uh, this address and i usually just send it over from either my ledger or from my uh, gemini account and uh, then it's already pre-funded with ethereum now how do i get to this uh you know get celsius and usdc well, I need to go through Uniswap. So I have this connected to my Brave browser. When I go to Uniswap, see how it has the balance 1.29? It's reading my crypto wallet that is attached to my Brave browser. Same thing, you could do it with uh, Ledger or whatever other options that they have, but that's what I use, just makes it simple for me. Again, I do not put a ton of money on my um, my Ether wallet or my, or my Brave wallet. It's just for little things that I wanna do here and there. I keep the majority in my Nano Ledger, which is cold storage and I don't have to worry about things. So if I wanna find a token, an ERC token, let's take a look, what do they have? Well, they got pretty much everything you can think of. And there's different ones as far as like, um, right down here where it says Zerion Explorer, let's change that. Let's go to, there's all these different types of uh, lists that they have. Let's go for the Uniswap default list. And here you have everything. You have Celsius, DAI, I mean, ADI, Ant. I mean, it just goes on forever, honestly. So pretty much everything you're looking for is pretty much right here. And if, you want, if you're looking for something else, you're like, well, I want it specifically to DeFi. Let's change this over. How about the Ave token list? Well, let's see what we got. Okay, USDC. Uh, you've got A, uh, Binance, USD, KNC, A Lend, A Link. So everything with DeFi is right here. So I wanna, let me just go back here. This is why this is so popular because everything is here. I'm gonna buy some more Celsius. I like Celsius. How much I wanna get? Well, let's see. Well, Celsius is around, I don't know, 40 cents around, somewhere around there. So let's say I wanna get 100. Let's just round it up. Let's just go 0 0.01 or 0 0.1, excuse me, 0 0.1. Same way, 101 Celsius at 40 cents. It's like 40 bucks. All right, so not too bad. And just so you see underneath here, liquidity provider fee. So. This is the whole thing about DeFi. They need your cryptocurrency either to 
to stake it or to borrow against it. So if you do something like this, it's all right there. And then you get that fee that is generated for all these different services. So it's a pretty cool thing. And um, I got to tell you, I mean, as far as like moving into the future, where banks are going to be, what's going to happen in the future, what's going to happen with these centralized exchanges. I mean, it's an exciting time. I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but it's the same thing back when the internet came about. Nobody had any idea that you would have a job as like a, a an SEO person, a search engine optimize optimization, or somebody who would you know build actual websites that would be you know specific for for marketing and pop ups and things like that. And then I don't think anything. I mean, when cryptocurrency came about, especially in 2010, 2009, 2008. No one had any idea this would actually be here, that we would be directly competing uh, with banks for everything, not just for, for currency, but for lending and for staking and for derivatives and, and, and everything you can think of. I think as time goes on, it's going to be, I mean, just like Alex Mashinsky said, it's going to swallow the internet whole. All right, so enough of that little speech. Let's go for a little swap action. Click on that. I want to confirm this. And just so, so you know, output is estimated. You'll receive at least 97 cell or the transaction will revert because of the transaction fees. And I'm going to confirm the swap. And it's going to ask me to confirm that. Is this what I want to do? What the? And see this gas fee? That's crazy. 1948. Let's take a look at that. Let's edit that. So here's the basic and here's some advanced. If I want to make this uh, 20 minutes, it's only a <laughs> 50 cents. Get out of here. So let's do this. See how it says gas price 300? Let's drop it down to 50 and see how long that's going to take. So I'm, like, so I'm going to put it at 10. Let's just try 10 because the new total is 43.98 and it's going to be the transaction time is more than two minutes. I'm telling you it's probably going to take hours because look at that. That's insane time. So let's just let's just click save. See what we got. So my gas fee now is 65 cents, which is a lot better than $18. Here's the total and I'm going to confirm. Now, just so you know, this is going to take a long time, but I got nothing but time. I'm fine. Let's see if it actually goes through. And it didn't go through because not enough. Let's try this again. If I can swap gas fee, $19. No way am I doing that. We'll edit the gas fee. We can go from, geez, it already jumped up. It was uh, 1850, now it's 1950, 1933. So let's go to advanced, which you can't see, but it's right above, right above here, it's advanced. So we got 300, let's go for 100. Gas price simulator, sure, let's save it. So what's the gas fee? $6.49. Amazing. So let's see if that works. Jeez. So that's pretty high amount, but there we are. That's what it is. So Ethereum is going to be awesome. If they can just deal with those fees, hopefully something can happen there. So we'll see how long it's going to take. I expect that it could take at least an hour or so, but we will find out. Anyhow, that's it. Let's move on to the next section.